My buddy Jake suggested I review Just Mercy, so here I am to do just that. Jake also thinks that Super Mario Kart on the SNES is overrated. Before we get started, thank you so much for watching. Click that red subscribe button and the notification bell, that way you know whenever I post a new video. Based on a true story, Just Mercy is the latest in a long list of films that tackle the political and moral issue of racism within the criminal justice system that is supposed to protect all Americans. Michael B. Jordan, who shot to stardom when he starred in Chronicle, Fruitvale Station, Creed, and Black Panther, plays a Harvard law intern named Brian. Brian Stevenson, who hails from Delaware, travels to Alabama in 1989. His purpose? To provide free law services to poor families and victims of racial injustice in the Deep South. One of the first cases he investigates is a man named Walter Johnny D. McMillan, played by an always reliable Jamie Foxx. The movie immediately points out that Johnny D. was convicted of murdering a young white woman under the shadiest of circumstances before being sentenced to life in prison. As if that wasn't bad enough, the judge in his case overrode the jury and sentenced this man to death. As Stevenson makes every effort to free Johnny D and build relationships with the latter man's family, the movie tackles two extremely important subjects. It talks about the clear bigotry, hatred, and lack of justice that too often plague the black community, and shares its view of America's over-reliance on the death penalty. The movie establishes right off the bat that the entire system in this small Alabama town of Monroeville is run by corrupt, dirty politicians who simply want to pin this murder on the closest available black man. Not only do they want to do that, but they actually do that. Brian experiences much of this bigotry firsthand upon his arrival and is just as repulsed by it as we are. Every step of the way, Brian and Johnny are met with the same consistent roadblock, ignorant or straight-up wicked men who violate every single oath they have sworn in order to preserve their own personal interests. All they care about is maintaining their current seat of power, and justice isn't simply an afterthought, it's something that must be subverted in order to keep the people who elected them happy. You see, the people of Monroeville, Alabama remember this murder case specifically, and the last thing they want is the local DA and police department opening up old wounds by bringing this case out in the open. Some context that's important here. Monroeville is the birthplace of Harper Lee, the author of the landmark book To Kill a Mockingbird. This video is not a Wikipedia entry for the book, but I am about to spoil the book for you, so if you haven't read the book, go read the book. The movie's a masterpiece too, so please go watch it. That Harper Lee connection is brought up throughout the film, with characters asking Brian if he's been to the Harper Lee Museum. In case you're wondering why that's ironic, here we go. To Kill a Mockingbird, the book that has defined Harper Lee's career and is considered one of the greatest pieces of fiction in history, is a book about racism. And not only is it about racism, it is specifically about a black man in Alabama who is falsely accused of committing a crime against a white woman, is then unjustly convicted of that crime, and is then shot to death trying to escape from the system that has wronged him. Yes, that is the plot of the book, and how the people of Monroeville, Alabama are able to be fully aware of this, while at the same time watching life imitate art directly in front of their eyes, should not be lost on the viewer. The B-plot of Just Mercy involves another inmate, one who actually did commit the crime that he's on death row for, and that follows his emotional journey as he grapples with his impending death. It makes some sense in the context of this story, but overall feels like it could have been made into its own movie, and maybe just doesn't quite fit in here. Just Mercy is a solid, relevant courtroom drama with very good performances that shows us how the scales of justice are far too often pushed to one side by wicked men in the name of comfort. In the case of this film, some of those men learn their lessons, and some sadly do not. This is an important film for today's landscape, and one that you shouldn't hesitate to watch. After all, those who don't understand history are doomed to repeat it. Just Mercy is completely free on digital platforms as of the time of this video, so definitely go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, click that red subscribe button. You can also like and share the video, and let me know what you think about Just Mercy in the comments below.